Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Battlefield Narratives. Today we're diving deep into one of the most intriguing matchups in modern aerial warfare, the F-35I Adir and the Su-57 Felon. Both jets represent the pinnacle of fifth generation stealth technology from two very different philosophies of air combat. The question that stirs debates across military, think tanks and defense forums worldwide is simple could the F-35 I truly dominate Russia's Su-57 in real combat? The answer is far more complex and fascinating than most people realize. The F-35 I Adir is not just another fighter. It's a product of years of Israeli customization and American stealth mastery. Built on the foundation of the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning Roman II, the Adir integrates Israeli-made electronic warfare systems, customized command networks, and advanced weapon integration suited to Israel's regional threats. It is a fighter designed not only to evade radar, but to dominate the digital battlefield, where data and situational awareness determine survival. The Su-57 Felon, on the other hand, represents Russia's long, awaited leap into stealth technology. Developed by Sukhoi, it's meant to rival the American F-22 and F-35 programs. The Su-57 is faster, more agile, and armed with a diverse range of weapons. Its design favors supermaneuverability and high-speed engagements using thrust, vectoring engines, and advanced aerodynamics to out-turn and outgun opponents. But as sleek and deadly as it looks, the question remains, can it compete with the networked warfare and invisible precision of the F-35I? One of the biggest advantages the F-35I holds is information dominance. In modern air warfare, whoever sees first, shoots first and wins. The Adir's radar cross section is astonishingly low, making it nearly invisible to conventional radar systems. It uses advanced sensor fusion that connects multiple data streams from satellites, AWACS, drones, and other jets, giving the pilot a complete picture of the battlefield. The Su-57, while stealthy, does not possess the same level of integrated data networking, which places it at a disadvantage in a beyond visual, range encounter. The battle between stealth and speed is what defines this comparison. The Su-57 might fly faster, but the F-35I was never designed to win in a traditional dogfight. Its strength lies in staying unseen and striking first. Israeli pilots are trained to use the Adir's stealth profile to infiltrate hostile airspace undetected, neutralize threats with precision, guided munitions, and vanish before the enemy can even respond. Russia's Su-57, with its radar evading design, tries to balance stealth with agility, a difficult compromise that affects its radar signature. Another decisive factor is avionics. The Adir carries one of the most advanced electronic warfare suites in existence, designed specifically for Israel's defense needs. These systems can jam, deceive, or even disable enemy radars and missiles. Israeli engineers integrated native hardware and software that can counter threats from advanced Russian-made air defense systems like the S-400. This customization gives the Adir an unmatched regional edge. The Su-57, though equipped with its own electronic countermeasures, relies heavily on Russian centralized systems, which may not perform as dynamically under battlefield stress. Let's also consider production and reliability. The F-35 family has seen thousands of flight hours across multiple countries. With continuous software and hardware upgrades funded by a global defense network, the Su-57, however, remains in limited production. Only a handful are operational, and Russia's manufacturing delays have hindered mass deployment. Combat testing in Syria showed the Su-57's potential, but also its limitations in terms of stealth effectiveness and radar performance under real battle conditions. In a real confrontation, the Adir's stealth advantage could dictate the engagement. Its radar can detect and track enemy aircraft from great distances while remaining hidden. The Su-57 might depend on infrared sensors to locate stealth aircraft, 
but these systems are highly limited by weather, range, and background heat. This means that by the time a Su-57 identifies the Adir, it could already be within the F-35 ice kill zone. The weapons themselves add another layer of complexity. The F-35I carries precision, guided bombs and air, to air missiles within internal bays to maintain stealth. Its AIM-1, 120 d Amram missiles can destroy targets from over 160 kilometers away. Meanwhile, the Su-57 uses a wide range of Russian missiles like the R-77M and K-77, offering long reach and versatility, However, using external weapons compromises stealth, making the Su-57 easier to detect. Now, let's bring the geopolitical layer into focus. The Adir is a cornerstone of Israel's deterrence strategy. It ensures that no adversary can threaten Israeli airspace or strategic assets without facing retaliation from an invisible hand in the sky. Russia's Su-57, though technologically ambitious, serves as a demonstration of Russia's aerospace capability more than an operational powerhouse. The economic sanctions, limited funding, and global isolation have slowed its full scale development, leaving it behind Western fifth generation programs. In a potential encounter, Israel's F-35, I would likely rely on its stealth to engage the Su-57 before detection. The engagement would unfold in silence, no radar pings, no visible signatures, only a missile lock warning moments before impact. This is the kind of battle where the victor is unseen until it's too late. The Su-57's agility might help in close quarters, but the Adir's goal is to prevent that dogfight from ever happening. Critics often argue that the Su-57 is underestimated, it's undeniably a beautiful and powerful aircraft with unmatched maneuverability and speed. In certain conditions, especially if supported by advanced ground radar or a wax, it could hold its own. But the F-35I's networked warfare model extends beyond the aircraft itself. Every Adir in the air contributes to a shared intelligence grid, giving the Israeli Air Force an upper hand that no individual jet can counter alone. The F-35I's role in Israel's regional dominance has already been demonstrated through numerous missions in Syria and beyond. It's been used to strike Iranian targets deep within enemy territory, often without detection. This operational experience gives Israel's pilots real-world confidence in the aircraft's stealth and electronic warfare capabilities. The Su-57, by contrast, lacks extensive combat data, which limits its proven credibility in modern conflict. Another factor often overlooked is maintenance and sustainability. The Adir benefits from Israel's highly advanced defense industry, capable of independently maintaining and upgrading its systems without relying solely on American contractors. This autonomy allows Israel to rapidly integrate new weapons or countermeasures based on emerging threats. Russia's Su-57, while technologically advanced, is dependent on a constrained industrial base struggling under global sanctions and material shortages. So, could the Su-57 ever catch up? Possibly, but only with years of consistent investment, production, and operational testing. For now, the Adir dominates not because it's the fastest or the most agile, but because it's the smartest. It turns warfare into a game of intelligence rather than brute force. In that arena, Israel's integration of stealth, electronic warfare, and battle networking ensures that the F-35I maintains the edge. When comparing two aircraft like the F-35I and the Su-57, it's not just about hardware, it's about doctrine. Israel's doctrine is precision, preemption, and survivability. Russia's doctrine emphasizes strength, endurance, and spectacle. The F-35I is built for silent, surgical strikes, the Su-57, for dominance in open skies. But in a world where radar sees everything, the aircraft that can't be seen often wins before the battle even starts. The story of the F-35I and Su-57 is not just about two jets. It's about the evolution of warfare. Speed and power once ruled the sky, 
but now information and invisibility reign supreme. The F-35 I symbolizes the future of fighter jet that's as much a flying computer as it is a weapon. The Su-57, though impressive, still belongs to a transitional generation trying to catch up with the invisible enemy it can't fully see. As the balance of power in the skies continues to shift, one thing remains clear the next great wars will not be fought by who flies faster, but by who sees first. And in that domain, the F-35 I adhere stands unmatched. If you found this analysis useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more war updates and global analysis.